All right, so uh, this is Jeff Howald at Banjo Warehouse, and we happen to have a bunch of banjos and a mandolin here. It's a 1924 F4. The main purpose is to uh, show the condition of the, the mandolin, and I'll play something, but I don't play the mandolin particularly well, and I don't really think my uh, left hand is that strong. So uh, I, the mandolin probably sounds better than what it's going to sound like when I play it. But anyway, so let's, uh, let's, let's play one little thing, then we're going to immediately go to the instrument itself. So here it goes. I'm just going to... Okay, so uh, here we have a black face, 1924 Lore era Gibson mandolin. And uh, we'll do a close up and we'll basically look around the sound hole. And you can see that when they did these, they apparently uh, uh, put a coating of black over what was there. Okay, so you can see the, you know, that there's some. Uh, Playware, but it's good honest playware. You can see it has the original uh, tailpiece, okay, and it's got the original bridge. And I'm going to turn this so that you can see, just so you can see how the, okay, so we've got that setup. Once again, I'm not a mandolin setup guy, so I have no clue what you're supposed to do with this. The mandolin action is is pretty low, which is cool. And then we go up the headstock, and you'll see uh, what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to, okay, so there's a few little nicks and stuff. And the, uh, the obligatory, or whatever you call it, it's very common for there be, to be a little crack right up here. Okay, so I wanted to reveal that. And then we have uh, the original keys, but we also have these other keys which cost about 500 bucks okay so it means that uh, you'll have the original keys if you want them but if you want to play you'll have some really good keys okay and then we look at the uh, side of the mandolin okay and let's look up towards the neck here and we'll also look right here at the joint so that's all and I'm going to turn it over and you can see the other side now nah, maybe maybe not Oh, here it comes, the other side. Okay. And then we can, uh, mandolin's been, uh, been played a lot, but it's been well taken care of. And then you can see up the neck. And uh, so this is a lower era, and what that means is that it has a truss rod. And you can see the truss rod cover right here. And that means that these necks are a little bit narrower than the ones that don't have a truss rod, okay? And they tend to be a little bit brighter. And uh, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, we'll just go around the side one more time just so we're totally... Uh, okay, and then we're going to look at this side, see if there's any little... There we go. So there's, so I say it's all pretty honest uh, if there is playware. And we'll look down here. Binding looks good. Uh, frets. Yeah, frets look pretty good. You know, you're going to have some little, you know, on the fingerboard, little divots are not bad, but let's do a close up of the uh, fingerboard here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and play a couple things, not that it's going to really have much uh, influence, but uh, Manlin's got real low action. It sounds really good. So here's, uh, I think I know one song. Actually, I know one actually.
So uh, now I'm going to show you the pick guard. I'm going to put this mandolin down right here. And I'm going to... And once again, I'm in no way an authority on these things. So uh, I bought this from a dealer. Okay, so here's the original pick guard. You can uh, we need a pick uh, close up of that one. Okay, and I'll show you a close up, and you can look at the parts, and you can determine if they're original. Uh, that certainly looks original. Um, and you'll notice that there's a little a kind of a hole. It's not a. It actually is a little hole, and they. I don't know what the purpose of that was for, but you can see it right here. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to reveal that, and uh, I guess guess that's about all you need to see of the pick guard. Okay, and then uh, we open up the uh, this box here, which uh, and those are Waverly keys that are on it, engraved, gold plated, and then we have the original keys. Here's what they look like, and. Original buttons. Okay, here's the other keys. Okay. And honestly, it looks like there's some original screws and a couple non-original screws that hold the keys on. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about the mandolin, you can just call Andy at 404-372-5482. You can call me at 404-218-8580. And that's basically it. You can also see pictures of it on BanjoWarehouse.com. Sounds great, and uh, you guys have a great day, and uh, hope to see you soon.